One of the many perks of rail rain tra uh, railroad traveling, you don't really get canceled by weather very often at least, not sure. like airplanes, Anthony. Yeah, and around here recently, I mean, uh, there would be no reason to cancel anything. It's just quiet. It's a boring weather pattern. It's been cool, and occasionally we've warmed up, as you know, but uh, we're kind of locked in a chillier type of a look over the next week or so. I think as we get towards the end of this seven day, uh, in that seven to 10 day period, that's where we'll start to turn the corner more so uh, well into the 60s and perhaps even to around or above 70 by not this coming weekend, but that following weekend. So keep that in mind right now on the tower cam. Uh, it, it's very quiet outdoors. We don't have much in the way of any wind. We ha don't have many clouds either. They're starting to work in from across Lake Michigan, very high wispy types that eventually will lower and thicken overnight tonight and lead to areas of drizzle mist and light rain on Thursday as early as say six, seven, eight o'clock along the lake shore and then more like nine, nine thirty, ten 10 o'clock into Grand Rapids sticking around for a several hour stretch. As I mentioned in one of the segments earlier on at the top of the show coming in perfect timing, this moisture and clouds to hold our temps down to a uh, well, to a minimum, I was going to say to a maximum, holding them down as much as possible, meaning a maximum, but they're not going to rise a whole lot tomorrow. Uh, and frost and freeze nights ahead as well. Starting tomorrow night, we could have five or six in a row where we've got a chance for some frost or even a light freeze. When I say light freeze, maybe 30. 132. I don't think hard freezes around here, but it's going to be cold enough in the lower 30s heading into early next week. Slow warming trend, though, does start to commence uh, early next week. 41 at 7 a.m. We've got a lot of clouds around all day long. 44 at noon. Temperatures are going to be very slow to rise, despite it being the sixth day of May. Light showers, uh, I would say, most likely between about 9 o'clock and probably 2 o'clock in the afternoon and GR a little bit earlier towards the lakeshore. Mostly cloudy still at 5 p.m., though I think around that time, 5 o'clock to uh, a sundown, which will be right around 8.50 tomorrow, we will have a shot for some sun to return, but it's going to be too late to really help out temperatures much. Only looking for a high around 50. Right now we're at 49, though. A uh, little bit milder across the lake into southern Wisconsin and northern Illinois, but these numbers are going to continue to fall off, I think, because clouds are very thin right now. 37 already in South Haven with minimal of any wind around to Holland. Again, mostly clear skies right now, but clouds will be increasing overnight. This is the general wind pattern out of the northwest or west at about five. If that, it's basically calm along the lakeshore. And these are the projected temperatures for tomorrow. So you've been looking at uh, what we've been giving you recently. How can it get any cooler? Well, it actually is for tomorrow. A lot of 40s on board. That'll be because of all these clouds and these light rain showers and pockets of drizzle and mist holding the mercury down about as much as it possibly can for the season. Uh, jumping back into the mid 50s. 50s here, I think Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Still a chance for a shower on Friday, by the way, mainly away from the lakeshore. I think there's going to be a stable layer right along the immediate shoreline, probably keeping you dry all day long. But the rest of us could see a shower and then mainly dry through the upcoming weekend. We'll look for a little bit of a warm up there by Tuesday and Wednesday back into the low to mid 60s. Right now, I've got nothing to really report on the live radar. You got to go well across the lake into Wisconsin, Minnesota and Iowa with this area of low pressure. It's not strong. But it has the clouds and it does have some moisture with it. So it's just going to be kind of a glum Thursday morning and afternoon around here with, again, perhaps a ray of sun by very late day. This area of low pressure off to the north spiraling down that cool air from Canada. That will start to move off to the east uh, towards the uh, Atlantic Ocean, eventually allowing for a ridge to build in slowly but surely. And that's why we do get warmer later next week. Watch the model has this moisture starting to creep towards the lakeshore about six, seven, eight o'clock, nine, ten o'clock in GR Kalamazoo. It's not a monstrous area. It's not heavy rain. Otherwise, you'd see yellow colors there, but it will be damp for a stretch. Then it kicks out of here. A little bit of sun. Very late day. We'll pick up the European model. Watch that go away. The second disturbance on Friday drops southward. Could bring a shower or two. Not an all day rain out. And then Saturday looks drier. Check out this next wave of energy here. Janice and Dara coming out of the Dakotas. Consensus of information does keep that to our south on Mother's Day Sunday. Uh, there are a couple runs of the models that bring that a little bit further northward. That's got to be watched. I can't completely rule out a shower on Sunday, but right now, keeping it out of the forecast. And then early next week, we're waiting. We're waiting to turn the corner back into the 60s. Look at those lows, though. Look at those lows right around 32 degrees for several nights in a row. All right. Okay. Thanks, Anthony. Going to the Secretary of State's office.